Buenas noches. Um, puedo hacerlo en español, pero vas a ser mucho demorado. Entonces, vamos a encurtar 20 minutos en inglés. ¿Está bueno? 30 minutos, 35 minutos en español. Um, pero despacito. Ok, vamos. Um. No. Ok. Bueno, um, voy a hablar de mí un poquito en cuanto esperamos. Um, sí, trabajé como recruiter en Silicon Valley. Y descubrí los secretos y las cosas que las personas no compartían mucho con los candidatos. Um, vosotros están un poquito adelante porque son de tecnología, pero trabajé mucho con las personas que, um, principalmente mujeres, que llegan con sus maridos, están esperando el visto de trabajo. Y entonces, cuando el visto llega, después de tres, cuatro, cinco años, ¿qué voy a hacer ahora? Es un poco difícil porque es un mercado muy competitivo, innovador, y bueno, pero para la gente de tecnología es más fácil, no necesita hablar inglés, <ríe> solamente la lenguaje de computación. Es un poquito más complicado, vamos a ver cómo empezar. Ok. Um, so today I'm going to talk about open source projects, personal projects that you're developing on your own time with your own resources. Internship, prácticas, um, las oportunidades que existen que no demandan vistos complicados de residencia, de trabajo. Um, un poquito sobre big, big data, data analytics, um, and all the possibilities around data science. Um, interview preparation, um, cómo prepararse para las entrevistas. Y un poquito sobre personal marketing, branding techniques, cómo venderse, cómo hablar, vestirse. Y un poquito de tiempo para Q&A. Ok, vamos. Um, entonces, si tú estás interesado en trabajar con, no sé, web design, por ejemplo, uh, you will be asked by the recruiter, where is your portfolio? Where is your website? And you, you need to have a cool, innovative website, pictures, testimonials, videos, biography, lots of colors, gap style, if you want to do web design. If you want to do gaming, si quieres trabajar con games, you have to have your own game that you build, porque they're going to ask you at the interview, so what have you done? Can you show me something that you've done with your own time, your own resources? If you want to do, I just want to work for Facebook or Google, okay, well, have you ever created maybe an iOS or Android app? That's the kind of question that you will be asked, um, and it's important to be prepared for that. So do it while you can on your own time with your own resources. Participate in Hackathon, really good exposure. Publish your work on you know, GitHub, Bitbucket, be visible, because that's the key. It's really important to be visible. I, I know it's a risk, and you probably don't want to share your uh, codes out there, but sometimes um, it's the only way to be found. It's the only way for recruiters to find you, it, and that's a really good way to start. Um, solving programming challenges on hackerrank.com. A lot of companies in Silicon Valley, um, they post their problems, programming problems out there. Um, for you to solve, and if you can solve them, you'll, you'll be offered uh, an internship or a, an interview. Uh, and, and so it's a good way to, to show your skills and, and be visible to uh, the recruiters. Uh, use your referrals. It's also another good tool. If you have friends who are working in the companies you would like to work for, ask them to refer you. They make some good money if you get hired. So. It's good for them, it's good for you, don't hesitate. 
um, go to conferences like this one, um, World uh, Mobile Congress uh, in Barcelona. Mark Zuckerberg was there last year. Really good way to increase your networking power and meet new people outside of your bubble and comfort zone. Um, let's keep moving. I know it's a risk, like I said, but Peter Thiel, co-founder of PayPal, said, um, in a world that is constantly changing, the biggest risk that you can take is to not take any risk. So even if you don't think you're the best programmer out there, you know, some other programmer just as good as you is becoming a lot more visible than you and he's going to get that job just because of that. Internships, practicas. Um, these are the internships that you can find. Um, funny enough, the smaller companies are paying the most, like Zynga, Quora, Snapchat, um, Dropbox, 250 people. But these people, they're looking for highly specialized um, programmers. So they want people who can work with different languages. They want um, iOS developer, Android developers. They, they're, very, they're very specialized, and that's why they pay more. Um, whereas Google, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, um, eBay, they, they look for um, software engineers. And if you only code in Java, but you're amazing at doing Java, then you have really good chances. So they really want to know about how you solve problems. They're very interested in your thought process and not just in the elegant solution that you bring, but how you get there, how you arrive to that. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention is that some companies like Facebook, they use video interviews, so they ask you to record, for example, one minute video about yourself um, and then that's kind of the first step of the interview. So if you want to start training with that, that's a good start. Um, like uh, Javier Vélez said, you know, it's important to predict the future. It's, a, it's really the biggest challenge out there for data scientists, predict cons consumer behaviors. Um, and so the best way to predict it, it to, is to invent it. Um, so that's my invitation tonight. If some of you are interested in data science. Here are some ideas. Um, E-commerce is a really great start. Try to get some e-commerce experience in your CV um, because companies, you know, marketplace companies like Amazon, eBay, Airbnb, Uber, Lyft, Kiva, they all work I mean, they don't really have a product. I mean, they just have a platform, and it's a great platform, and they connect sellers to buyers or, you know, users to um, service providers. And so what they need, they are desperate for data scientists um, because, you know, when you click search on eBay or on Amazon uh, and the products that are listed there, the first, the second, the third, they're all selected based on the demographics, based on the geographics, based on your previous purchase, based on your everything. I mean, it, it takes about a team of 100 people to just define which products are going to come on the first page of your search. Um, that's pretty much the use of your skills. I mean, someone said, uh, you know, the greatest mind of my, of this century are, are focusing on, on getting people to click ads. I mean, I'm not <laughs> simplifying, but it's, it's true that all of this genius that you have sometimes is going to be used for optimizing website and, you know, making sure ads are being um, used properly. How to monetize data is another great way of uh, using your skills um, as a data scientist, if that's what you want to do. Uh, that's a very highly sought after skill. You will never be unemployed if you want to go down this road. Um, so optimizing website, like I said, and um, to create new businesses. I mean, 
let's talk about Netflix and how they know everything, everything you watch, how many times you watch, uh, if you have kids, what your kids are watching, where you live. I mean, all that data is stored in their databases, you know, servers. And if they want to, for example, start in the movie industry, they can because they know exactly what people are watching. They know all the te tendencies geographically. They know where you live. They know what your kids like to watch. So for them to either sell that data or start a new business based on that data, it's just so easy and so lucrative. That's what Google does. I mean, they have all this intelligence. And they're like, well, let's start a business around this intelligence that we have, right? Because they have so many businesses in so many different areas just because they have the intelligence that others don't. Anyways, um, if you want to deepen your knowledge, go and do this data science course uh, on UC Berkeley Extension. Um, it's a university in California. It's really, really prestigious. And um, these courses are actually quite affordable. And you can do them online. And then you put you know, a University of California in your curriculum. So that's also going to raise your game if you apply for jobs in the Silicon Valley. Um, Let's talk about interview preparation. Are you following me? Am I too fast? <laughs> it's okay. All right. Um, so Einstein, if I have an hour to solve a problem, then I'd spend 55 minutes thinking about the problem, and then five minutes thinking about the solution, which is kind of the way I would like you to approach interview and how to answer interview questions. Uh, whether you're in tech or not, you're going to get a lot of behavioral questions. And they're like, you know, tell me about a time when you had a very difficult boss. And how did you go about that? These kinds of questions, they're just to assess your cultural fit and how, how you're going to fit into that family and if you're going to be a good match. Because it's easy to assess your technical skills, you know, they, they'll do that um, with a test. But then these companies, they're very focused, like Dropbox, for example, they're so careful with who they hire because it's all about the culture. Are you going to be a good fit? Are you going to, you know, be a, a good addition to the family? So um, let's look at these in a nutshell. I wanted to um, focus on the whole problem solving um, you know, philosophy, it's not about giving them an answer, it's really about how you get to that answer. What is the way that you take to achieve that elegant answer? What is your method and what is your process? So that's what they want to... So, for example, you want to work at Facebook. Um, one advice, <laughs> let's uh, break it down. Facebook is not really about connecting people. Well, it is. But their real mission is to bring internet to everybody. To allow every single person to have access to information in the most remote rural areas. That's really what internet.org is about. That's what Mark Zuckerberg is, is building. And um, this is his real mission, real purpose. So when you go for an interview, keep that in mind. You know, it's, it's more than connecting. It's really democratizing information, you know, making it universal uh, and accessible. And so think also about the problems that Facebook is, is facing right now. If, if you want to be a good addition to the team, it's important for you to think about the problems that they're facing. Facebook has problems with fake news, fake profiles. Um, and, and they still haven't found really a good answer to, to, to that. So maybe this is something that you want to work on. Maybe this is something that you can bring um, to an interview in an elegant way. You, know, you can bring your solution. OK, maybe it's a, big, it's a big step. But you know what I'm saying? It's important for you to always analyze the mission and the problems that the company is facing and really study the industry. Um, 
executive presentation I was talking with Pilar, who's going to present now. It's so hard sometimes for um, people in IT to sort of break down their thought process and simplify it to people in HR or finance and, and, and for them to kind of communicate in an efficient way. And, and so that's something I would like you to also um, bear in mind. Make sure that you always break down your complex solutions into um, actionable insights for the executives of your company to then take that and make it a policy, you know, in, in, a, in a kind of a simple way. I know it's hard because what you do is quite complex. Uh, anyways, um, another thing I would like to recommend, Cracking the Coding Interview is a really good book if you want to prepare for interviews. Gail Lackman. And also, if you are not planning to go all the way to California to work in tech, you can also do that in Europe. Of course, you know, Dublin, Cork, I mean, London, Zurich is up and happening. I have, well, I live there and I've seen Facebook, Google, um, Amazon, Apple, eBay, they're all there. And they have pretty big offices because uh, tax-wise, it's very um, profitable to be there. So. Facebook just acquired this Oculus, who also is working with Zurichai. They're starting a team now, probably about 10 people, working on virtual reality in Zurich. So this is also an opportunity. You don't have to go as far as California. Behavioral questions, the ones that we just mentioned. Tell me about a time when you had to work with a difficult person, and how did you go about that? Or tell me about a time when you failed. And how did you go about that? These are difficult questions, but I'm going to give you the secret. How to answer them. It's really simple. You start with a statement. OK, so for me, so you start. I'm, I'm, I'm answering. For me, a difficult person or a difficult boss is a micromanager. You start with a statement. You define what difficult means. And then you answer your own reasoning, your own definition of what difficult means. And you say, OK, I worked with a micromanager, and then I had to copy him in my emails. I had to meet him every day. I had to share a lot of information. And you know, I didn't really enjoy the ride, but I was successful. And I can work with any type of person. That's it. One minute. All your answers, one minute only. Short, to, to the point, start with a statement, one minute max, otherwise you're going to lose it. You're going to lose the train of thought. Uh, sometimes you get really silly questions, how many golf balls you can get in a school bus? Half a million, if you, <laughs> if you ever come across these silly questions, just go on Glassdoor and prepare for them, because you will have a few of these. Google asks things like, uh, Explain cloud computing to a 12-year-old. So you will get those. I hope you will be prepared and, um, yeah. Go on Glassdoor, you will see there's a lot. Uh, sorry, I think, can you go to, yeah. Um, in, 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 in a summary, I just want you to make sure to prepare for these interviews with your colleagues and rehearse with your peers and just really read the job description together go through the interview questions that you will find on Glassdoor, do it together with your friends, uh, do your homework on social media. You have to know the names of the people who are hiring you. Um, you really have to go and find out what they do on LinkedIn, on Facebook, read their articles, be prepared, make sure you know who is interviewing you. This is so important because they absolutely know who you are. Um, don't jump to a solution. Uh, and try coding on a whiteboard. They will ask you, Facebook and Google, to code on a whiteboard without the computer, on a paper. So train with that as well. Know the challenges of the industry. Like I said, what is Facebook about? It's about connecting people, but also about bringing internet to everybody around the world. Um, and prepare a smart question. Make sure to prepare a smart question because they will ask you, okay, do you have any questions for us? Prepare them in advance because they're, they're not going to come to you um, 
Um, last thing, I just wanted to ask you to avoid certain things, you know, touching your hair and your face, uh, talking about your personal life and your children or your ex-boss or your ex <laughs> in general. Be honest about what you don't know. If you don't know something, I would say, you know, I don't know this. I, I have never programmed in this language, but based on my past achievement, based on the success that I have, based on my learning skills, I'm sure I can learn, and I can learn fast. That's it. Just be honest, but you know, based on my achievements, I know I can learn. Don't interrupt, don't speed up, um, stay short, one minute. Um, yeah, don't dress in the wrong colors. So that's the last one. These are the colors that you should try to um, avoid. They have low conversion rate, so they sell low. Uh, brown, black, and green, and gray. Do not wear these colors when you go for an interview. And pink, red, yellow, blue, white, and beige are great colors. You're gonna remember the girl in the yellow jacket. <laughs> yeah? Okay, so that's it, thank you very much.